welcome to our LD academy in this video we are going to solve this problem we need to find out all the real solutions of this equation now consider this equation carefully left hand side we have one expression and right hand side we have another expression and this left hand side function we'll call it f of x and right hand side is suppose g of x now for better visualization we can draw these two function in the same graph suppose this is your function f of x and remember that this shape is may not be exactly for this function i am taking one example suppose th this is the shape for f of x and if this is the shape for g of x then f of x and g of x may intersect each others in several places and this intersection points are actually the solutions of this equation so in this case we can have these two solutions x1 x2 x2 so this is the general procedure to find a solution of complicated equation to solve this specific problem first we consider the left hand side term and this term this part x square minus 4x plus 5 is square root and second one is 1 upon that same function square root x square minus 4x plus 5 so if we consider this term as a y variable so easily we can write second one as 1 upon y so left hand side is becoming y plus 1 upon y now we'll try to understand this this term better now we can simplify this one as so we can rewrite this thing x square plus minus 4x plus 4 and plus 1 so this 5 we can rewrite as 4 plus 1 then we can combine these three together we can write as x of square minus 2 into x into 2 plus x 2 square and here it is 1 so this will become square root of x minus 2 that square plus 1 and you can see this is one square so obviously its value is always positive as this is positive so this y value will be more than 1 actually but here we'll consider y is more than 0 that is sufficient for us so we are getting that y is positive right so from this one we can understand these two terms both the terms are positive and from here also we can understand it is square root is there and so the in a, this inside this function square root of this one it is not negative term so this square root cannot give you any complex number it's a real and positive now so this left hand side is becoming y plus 1 upon y where y is positive we can simplify this further we can write as square root of y that square and this one 1 upon square root of y that whole square this is because y is positive that's how we can take square root otherwise we cannot take square root right so this one a square plus b square we can write as a minus b whole square minus 2 into a into b so if i rewrite in this form then this two this square root of y and square root of y it will cancel out and this term is whole square and this is your two only as you know that square of any term is always positive so this y plus 1 upon y this is always more than 2 because this is positive more than 0 this is 2 so the total value y plus 1 by y is should be more than 2 so this is the case the for left hand side we have obtained that this term should be more than 2 and this two value you will get at y equal to 1 because at y equal to 1 this is maximum value is minimum value is 2 okay now we can plot these things this function y plus 1 upon y versus y with respect to y 
first we can plot this one the shape and you can see for larger value of y this second term 1 upon y is almost 0 if y is very large that time this is simply y that means it is a straight line passing through the origin that could be the asymptote so this line will follow that y equal to x the straight line okay and for low value of y when y is close to 0 that time this value this first term is almost negligibly small but this 1 upon y will be significantly high and that function is x y equal to 1 means rectangular hyperbola so this part is close to rectangular hyperbola this is your straight line so here you will get the minima at y equal to 1 and value is 2 okay so now we will consider the term the left hand side term total term so this one we can write as x minus 2 that square that I said and this is 1 so this is again 1 upon x minus 2 whole square plus 1 and if I want to plot this term versus x it will look like this so already I have said that this function should have a minima at uh, the value is at 2 and exact value here you can see that this term will be 1 that time 1 plus 1 is 2 and it will be 1 at x equal to 2 okay because this is 0 means x minus 2 equal to 0 x equal to 2 that time you will find the minima of this term and it is symmetrical with respect to this 2 that is also important this side and this side is symmetrical that you can check right so this is the function actually f of x that we considered earlier now uh, this is the part already we have discussed the second term this one right hand side term that is gx we need to find out so g of x is 2 minus 3 times x minus 2 whole square okay and now this is one again square and square means always positive for any value of x thus this g of x will be less than 2 because this is some positive value is subtracted from 2 so g of x should be less than 2 for any value of x means g of x can have one maxima okay that value is 2 and maximum will be at x minus 2 equal to 0 means x equal to 2 so this is the plot for g of x it is another parabola and you can see that its maximum value is 2 and this is at x equal to 2 x equal to the height is 2 otherwise g of x is less than 2 is downward okay so for this function f of x and g of x f of x left hand side right, right side g of x and we already we have discussed f of x and g of x and you can see f of x we have said that it is more than 2 always and g of x is less than 2 always so they can have equal value at 2 but they should have equal value at 2 at the same value for x then only we will get a solution otherwise no ok so if I plot this thing you see this is the f of x that we have shown right it is symmetrical with respect to 2 this right side and left hand side it is a growing function and its minima at x equal to 2 and value is height is also 2 and for g of x this is this is the parabola and parabola will have one maxima at x equal to 2 and height is also 2 so they will just touch at this point 2 comma 2 okay so but if g of x is more than f of x then it can it can cross this function f of x by two times so we can have two solutions but in this case only we will get one solution at x equal to 2 so we have only one real solution this is important we will have only one real solution we are not talking about any other solutions so a function can have some other solutions complex solutions we are not interested for those things we want to find out wanted to find out the real solution so we have obtained only one real solution at x equal to 2 
Now, I'll give you two similar problems. You can solve these things and you can share your answer in the comment section. So these are the two solution equations. Look, look at the equation carefully. I have modified this term a little bit and this term again. And again, second one is similar, but again, some part I have modified here. Okay, here I have modified exactly four. Now, just I am asking that can you find the number of real solutions? No need to find exact solutions, but I want how many real solutions you will get from the equation. Whether one solution, two solutions, or zero solution, or more than two solutions. Okay, you need to find out number of real solutions in the equations. Please solve this problem and share your answer in the comment section. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please press the like button. And if you have not subscribed this channel, you may subscribe this channel for more videos. So thanks for watching.